Gracias. Mr. Chris, Welsh Chris, we're going to call Chris. him. Chris Buck, the oh. fabulous Chris Buck from the band Buck and Evans. I have been called worse. Um, well, not by <laughs> us, I hope. Um, <laughs> so welcome to Anderson's TV, to another episode of... Epic That's right, Epic All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, because Blackstar phoned me recently and said, oh, we've got some amps on an epic deal. They're the... Uh, Artist 30, 2 by 12 all valve, sexy combos. Um, are you interested? And I went, I am. And I know just the man who can come and help me do the video. Because this man has been playing these things live for the last couple of years, I would have said. Yeah, I, have, I can't remember how long they've been out now, but um, I remember stopping at the John Henry's just after they kind of announced they were releasing them and plugging into the black one. Um, not that there's any difference between that and the blonde one, I don't well, think. Well, um, some would say there's yeah. a lot of tone in the Tolex. Um, tone in the Tolex. Um, that's a t-shirt, isn't it? Pizza <laughs> off. Um, yeah, I just kind of, I'd been using the S150, I think it was, up yeah, to yeah. that point. Um, so instantly, this having reverb was kind of a bit more up my street. Um, and yeah, like you said, I've been using it for, well, yeah, a good couple of years now. And it's kind of been my main gig in amp, you know, so. Well, let's get to the uh, epic deal bit. So normally one of these amplifiers would cost you the thick end of about £800, which to be fair is pretty competitive. It's up against something like, I suppose, uh, a Fender Hot Rod Deluxe or perhaps a, maybe a DeVille or something like that. Um, very much going after that kind of cleaner, more authentic kind of broken up sort of valve amp. Yeah, yeah. Um, but these are now 499 Four ninety nine. There are more of the black ones than there are the cream ones. So if the cream one is floating, your boat needs to be fast. Um, but using the salesman's friend, uh, salesman's friend on the top, we've got an amp with two six L sixes in the power stage, two ECC eighty threes in the preamp stage, two channels, one that has no tone stack, so it's just literally a volume and tone and the other that has uh, a more conventional sort of bass, middle, treble, and Blackstar's ISF tone stack in there. So I think, oh, and actually the, the channels are foot switchable, it's 30 watts, and it has two Celestian V-type speakers built in. Reverb, effects loop, all the good stuff. So can we, would you mind, in fact, Mr. Chris, if, if you strum whilst I sort of fiddle and... Uh, <laughs> Hello. Been hanging around pizza. Didn't come long. to Guildford knowing you would get some of that, did you? No. So yes. we're going to start on channel one uh, with, 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 with. Any pedals? No pedals. No pedals. Just at all. so the reverb you're hearing is internal to this amp. Here we go. Thank you. 
What I shall now do is by compensating by dropping the master volume, I'm going to wind that channel up to not crazy, but I'm probably going to go like one or two p.m., one or two o'clock. Sorry, hmm. same same sort of output. <laughs> different, different to one a.m. Yeah, it? absolutely. <laughs> so just give us a note so I can get a volume. So kind of same sort of output volume now, but with some um, more sort of internal gain Juice. from the amp. Um, if we crank this mother, uh, we get to this kind of... Way more headroom than I thought it was going to have. I thought we'd have does, some, does, some gain yeah. by then. Um, so that's channel one, no pedals. We'll play with pedals in a minute. I'm going to jump over to channel two. Channel two probably is a bit more of a conventional drive channel. So here we go, keeping channel two clean, but now using the tone stack to get a little bit more bass end in there and just a slightly more, I think, fendery kind of tone. So here we go. Um, right, same kind of vibe. So now I'm going to take the gain up to uh, kind of one o'clock, something like that. See what we've. Starting to get a bit naughty now. A bit more love in there, no? And now, again, we're going to sort of juice it, basically, but keep the volume <laughs> down and see what we got here. I've lost my mic. He's that sounds place. great, but it uh, and we're not we haven't gone crazy loud. We've got the actual master volume here on about a quarter. Um, show us how you would set this up and then use it with your your pedals, because as hmm. your little sticker says, it is perfect for pedals. Yeah, I'm, especially orange ones that aren't Boss. Boss, yeah, look, mm. suspiciously <laughs> like Boss though. Um, yeah, I'm a bit of a kind of pedal nerd, I guess. Um, I, I don't know what makes you say that. I mean, it's not like your pedal boards. No. Um, enormous full of all the best pedals money can buy it's but. my talent replacement sand I'm, <laughs> I'm one pedal away from sounding like stevie ray i think um yeah so it's kind of you know obviously seen a lot of pedals um since i've been using it and like you said it's a fair amount of headroom in there as well considering it's only 30 watts um, i'm always pleasantly surprised by how much kind of headroom you can get out of it um i tend to gravitate towards channel one mm -hmm. um which is the out of the two more kind of slightly barky kind of boxy Boxy, 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 boxy. I know what you know, Channel one should be more boxy because mm. again, it's it's designed to be a very simple preamp straight into the power amp. Yeah, just rather than the tone with, you know, thing, lots yeah. of tone controls in the way. Um, so yeah, channel one on its own with a little bit of compression. I don't know where I've put that volume wise for you. You quite, probably quite want that. Yeah, put the master back up about halfway. I think it was. Do you use the? Internal reverb in the amp, or do you typically have a reverb pedal yeah, on the board? I do, yeah, I use the reverb in the amp. Cool. Um, 
It's, yeah, it's a cool reverb. It sounds good. There's actually a bright switch in the back of the amp as well, I think, for the reverbs. So okay. you, can have, you can have it a little bit more prominent, I guess, if needs be. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, channel one. That is the Cali 76 compressor, mm -hmm. though not the Guitar Paris diesel version. What? I know, um, absolutely. Could you show us what it's like with some of your delightful, I mean, you've got on here, you guys can't see it, but it, he's got, got a real clon by the looks of things and, <laughs> a, and a fake one. Uh, and he's got an Analog Man King of Tone. He's got, a, he's got a Dane pedal from Thorpe. He's got a Vertex steel string, an old fashioned blues breaker. I mean, basically all the good ones. And that all amazing Supro tremolo, which I liked a lot. Yeah, that's so, cool, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know. Take us through, like, just just play two or three different drive pedal sounds with the, with yeah. the amp. Yeah. So this is uh, the Dane. Um, let's give it a bit of King of Tone. Oh, why not? Um, what else we got? Let's have a bit of the Tim. This is like the cliche overdrive pedal board. I love isn't it. it. Do that crazy thing with the Supro tremolo as well, because that sounded monstrous with oh, you know, yeah, a bit yeah. of drive as well or something. But Can you can you stack that with some drive though as yeah, well and yeah. just give it That's a new one. That's great. It's a new man. combination. Your strings have got a slight gold tinge to them. Perhaps it's the light. Are you? Do you use funny strings or like a, no, unknown no, strings, or are they just this the gold coming off my fingers? Maybe um, that's no, what it is. It's the Midas touch <laughs> of tone. They are early ball tent forty six. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, it must be. Yeah, I don't know. Our they favorite do look a bit strings. weird, don't they? Uh, well, look. So there you go, guys. Um, all valve. Four ninety nine. Let's be honest with you. You can shop all day for a brand new valve amplifier, and you're not going to find anything as nice as this for four ninety nine. I think it's Absolutely. fair to say. Yeah, yeah. Um, so jump in if you need a new amplifier. Jump in whilst we've got them. Limited stock. When it's gone, it's gone. All the usual market trader stuff that you know <laughs> that you know you don't need me to tell you. Um, I think Chris and I should just I should just thank Chris for coming in, and we'll just noodle out for you. Absolutely. Um, you know the only thing we haven't really done. I've got a slightly higher gain pedal on my board here, uh, and it's, you know, it does do.
I would definitely <laughs> put this tap. as the kind of yeah, the kind of amp that the, the, the blues guys and the cleaner players are going to go for. But if you've got gain pedals on your board that have got a little bit more welly behind them, then uh, it'll do that too. The cream one and the black one are identical spec, just purely an aesthetic thing. So, uh, but anyway, yes, jump in as and when. What should we play out with, Chris? I don't know. We probably should have discussed it before we started. We should have, but this is the great bit about uh, video editing is that none of us will make <laughs> the final cut and we'll just look professional. <laughs>